Welcome back. Historians have always posed the question, who were the first Americans? Were they Mongolians, Native Americans? How does Christopher Columbus and the Spanish explorers fit into the timeline? Well, in a time when defining what it means to be American is a bit difficult, Dr. David Imhotep offers an answer that you won't find in any grade school history books. His recently published book, The First Americans Were Africans, claims that none other than Africans were the first to set foot on American soil. Dr. Imhotep joins us today in the studio to discuss his findings. Welcome to City Line. Thank you. Um, Let's start with the fact that you have the world's first Ph.D. Mm -hmm. in ancient African history. Tell us a bit about your decision to pursue your doctorate in this particular field. Well, um, as I was coming up through the ranks, um, I wanted to deal with black history, but not uh, the type of black history that we talk about today, mm -hmm. which is African-American history. Um, I wanted to go back to ancient history, so that degree did not uh, did not exist. So I got together with a uh, with the Union Institute and University, that is the um, one of the uh, first um, um, universities to, that is uh, accredited mm -hmm. that will let you find experts in the fields and uh, that in the um, sideline fields, and uh, then you can put together a team to create a new PhD, which is what I did. Now, where did you do this research? How did you do this research? Okay, where did I do this? Some of the research on site. Uh, I've been to Egypt um, a couple times, Nubia, um, Mexico, Hawaii, um, and there is also uh, in New Hampshire, I believe, uh, mm -hmm. in Salem, New Hampshire, there is a, a place where they call the American Stonehenge, mm -hmm. which most people don't know about. And so. I understand you have many published papers supporting all of the uh, writings that are in your book. Yes, seven peer-reviewed articles, it's soon to be eight, mm -hmm. will, uh, um, will back up the statements that I am, am, am making about the first Americans were African. Now, it's a very bold statement uh, about the first inhabitants of, Mer of America being African. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Well, um, 56,000 years ago, it seems that uh, uh, people uh, from Africa sailed to um, South America. Piedra Farida, 56,000 years ago, we have um, artifacts and uh, um, ancient um, hearths uh, that come from fires and whatnot. And uh, we see that they came there at 51,000. How, how did they come to from Africa to what is what we consider North America? Mm -hmm to North America, 51,700, all of those places that came by ship. And I'm not talking about wood ships, I'm talking about um, the reed uh, ships, mm -hmm. reed ships as uh, Thor Heyerdahl um, showed that you could sail a reed ship from Africa to South America in his Ra 2 experiment. So they came to the Americas, not necessarily what we consider North America. They were first in South America, 56,000 mm -hmm. years mm -hmm. ago, and then we have a place, Dr. Al Goodyear, uh, University of South Carolina found a uh, area in South Carolina um, that uh, dates back to 51,700 BC. Mm -hmm. And what was what evidence was found to support the arrival of the Africans uh, in these places? Okay, I mentioned the ones in the first place. The second mm -hmm. place, I'll, I will um, say that they found flint uh, uh, spear tips and. Uh, arrow arrowheads or arrow, arrow tips. Now this would be, made. of course, a great surprise to uh, historians who have taught us that uh, Columbus and the Spaniards or even Native Americans were the first inhabitants of these uh, lands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is a story that needs to be updated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you think the story was not told? Uh, why wasn't the evidence found prior to the information that you have in this book? I would say a combination of politics in the beginning and in the later years I could not tell you that's that's something for a political analyst to analyze. All I do is uh, research and uh, report the findings. Mm -hmm. Tell us some of the more uh, uh, surprising findings that we will read about in your book. Oh, uh, other than the 56,000 years uh, ago there is a um, a gigantic pier and breakwater one mile due west of the Bahamas that you can see today in 20 feet of water. 
when um, the Bahamas sank, the great Bahama Bank, around 7,000 uh, B.C., as, our, as is in uh, Mr. Boss's uh, diff dissertation, a fellow named Boss, mm -hmm. um, these, there was a gigantic island, and uh, there is a pier and a breakwater that you can see, as I said today, in the breakwater. We're talking about 600 yards long, mm -hmm. gigantic blocks, as in the pyramid, and between the blocks there is no cement, as in the pyramid, and also as in the pyramid, you can you can barely fit a razor blade in between. Oh. So the analogy there is very, very similar, oh. that these people were conducting international trade. There is, um, when, Mon when uh, Cortez, the uh, con conquist Spanish conquistador, visited, uh, 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 visited I say very lightly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the, the Aztecs, he saw that uh, the, the King Montezuma wore a lion skin with a lion head when he met him. Mm -hmm. And then on the other end, in Egypt, you see Ramses II. They did an uh, autopsy, if you will, uh, on his uh, remains, and they found inside his stomach American tobacco and cocaine residue from Bolivia. Mm -hmm. so, so, so we're talking about international mm -hmm. trade here. And there were, no li there were no lions in South America. Absolutely so not. They, they would have had Jaguars, to come from... but no African lions. Mm -hmm. They would have to have come from Egypt. I'm mm -hmm. uh, sorry, Africa. How do the Aztecs and the Mayans uh, I interact with the Africans? And what impact did these Africans, uh, other than the international trade you just mentioned, what impact have they had on the shaping of the Americas? The Africans, mm -hmm. the beginning before the Mayans and, and Aztecs, or, or just the, in general? The just shaping. in general. In general? Well, um, you see, they were there 53,000 years before any other peoples come. The Mongolians, as we are we're taught, the Asians, who did come across the, uh, the uh, Bering Straits, did not come over until 3000 BC. That is the closest, the only, the first evidence we have of Mongolians or Asians coming across. Because in uh, Limix, uh, Dr. Limix, uh, um, uh, dissertation. Uh, she found that uh, that pass was closed 115,000 years to 8,000 BC. Mm -hmm. So no one can come over it before then, and they did not exist until around 3,000 BC. So the combination of the Africans who were there 56,000 years ago, mm -hmm. and the Asians who came over 50 uh, 3,000 BC. Their children are the Native Americans that we all ah, hear about. Their children. I see. Not until then, not until after 3000 BC, when those two groups interact, are there Native Americans. Well, Dr. Imhotep, this is just uh, fascinating. Thanks for coming from Baltimore to share this information with us. Everybody, the book is called The First Americans Were Africans. It's by Dr. David Imhotep. We'll be right back with more City Lines. Stay tuned. <laughs>